Hello again, just giving you a quick introduction to one of our new products that we just put up on for sale on our website. It's basically, as the name implies, it's an NC Studio to Mac 3 converter box. Now this is the basic setup, this is what you, the minimum you would need uh, to be able to get started. Now you will see that um, we have here an e-stop, we have the control box, and we have the IDC two-row 15-way connector, which is typically for a three-axis NC Studio machine. Now, uh, on our website, you will be able to see some of the documentation that's available, and you'll also see the pinouts for the adapter boards, well, the uh, board that's already in your machine, and you can compare that. So basically the e-stop plugs into this control box. It also has, if you look here, you do have the e-stop here. You can also plug it in a, a wireless tool height in this from us. You can plug in a 3D probe. And here we have step and direction outputs, which allow a fourth axis to be implemented. So this will give you a plus five step direction and enable outputs. This could be put to your driver, and then that driver could power your fourth axis if you needed one. Again, as I said here, you've got here basically the IDC connector, which is pretty much standard um, for all these machines. Now, as you come here, you will get an XML file, which will um, be the basic uh, Mac 3, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Mac 3 screen set um, with a, just a, a small modification to allow you to, uh, if you want to, have some extra little features. Now, we will be supplying a uh, combination which we call plug and play, and that comes with a laptop which has an Ethernet connection that plugs into this box here, uh, which I did omit to um, point out, which I'll show you in a few seconds. Basically, what you've got here is an Ethernet strong connection, no USB failures, and this will allow it to work with Windows 10, 11, etc., which we've tested. And then, obviously, if you buy it with the, the full plug and play, you'll get a laptop, you'll get probing routines, calibration of the 3D probe available to you, etc. So that will be extra. So if you wanted to implement the wireless tool height, which could give you what we term a semi-automatic tool change. This, of course, would be quite useful for people uh, who don't have a tool changer, where you can probe once, you can, we'll, we'll put a link into um, the probing routine and uh, calibration routine for the 3D probe. Now, this will allow you to basically put a tool in measure the, the off, offset of the surface you're going to machine and then after that it will then take a, a, re, a reference reading every time you change a tool it will then go off to the reference point reprobe the new tool and allow you to basically continue without having to zero or check the length of every tool you implement now very again very brief introduction um, just on the side here i just hopefully you can see it It's fairly straightforward. What you've got is the four connectors, the power connector, and you can see with the yellow interface there, that's for the Ethernet or Ethernet connection, which allow you to give communications to Mac 3, Mac 4, or Windows 7, um, Windows 8, etc. Okay. Thank you again for your time, and I hope this was you find this useful. And we will be doing further in, in uh, videos which will show us actually plugging this in and actually running a machine. Now, again, lastly, what we've got here, this allows you to still implement your three speeds, which are slow, medium, and high. And we've preset these to the machines that are available to us. But when you get your machine, if your speeds are different from the speeds that we have set up, we can quite easily modify that software for you and then you can move forward.
Thank you again for your time, and I hope this works out and is of use to you.